Hello YouTube, Proxy here with another Dark and Light update. First thing I'm going to announce is that these updates will be now every fortnight. Information on the game has become scarce at best, and clearly the game still needs so much more work that they delayed it for an extended period of time. The game is said to be released now in quarter one of 2017, but that's still quite a large time frame for it to be released in. So let's catch up with the latest news that happened over Christmas. First we got gameplay footage, but it's so short that if I blinked I would most likely miss the entire thing. This has disappointed many people who were waiting to see some real gameplay footage and mechanics in action. I'd have loved to see the gameplay displayed at more of a snail's pace, but unfortunately this is the first time the company hasn't honoured its name. Perhaps the next gameplay video they release will give us more indication of what the game is like to play, instead of a sword swing and several spells casted in quick succession that doesn't really tell us anything. Also announced by Snail is an overview of the weather system for Dark and Light. Night and day cycles will be relatively quick, daytime being around 50 minutes long followed by a slightly shorter nighttime. So expect a full day cycle to take well over an hour to complete. Creatures of the world will be more docile during the day and during the night become more aggressive as well as more types of creatures will make an appearance during the nighttime. Weather will also impact how creatures act and behave as well as have an effect on your character. Although this kind of stuff has already been done in Ark before. So just like in Ark Survival Evolved, we will have to prepare specific equipment to deal with the changes in environment not just for zones but also for weather. Also this week we got a few new screenshots as well as an official map finally. And if this is how the official map is scaled, it's quite possible that the world might be even smaller than we originally thought it would be. But we won't know for sure until we get in game. It's at this point I can say Dark and Light is going to feel very similar to Ark, but possibly with better combat and a fantasy setting. Which, to be honest, I prefer over the sci-fi dinosaur thing that Ark had going on anyway. From what Horsejoke has told us and various other interviews and statements from Snail, it's that the server setup will be similar to Ark's. Also, it's possible that we will see new maps to play later on, as well as expansions to the current map as well as cross server pvp well that's it for this week's news update as i mentioned at the start i will be moving these updates to be released every fortnight though if something really interesting happens or any major developments occur i will be covering them as a bonus if you like these news updates don't forget to subscribe and as always thanks for watching